My very first morning at Abilene Christian as a 15-year-old freshman, uh, Roy Willingham was my teacher, and, and I just remember so many things he talked about uh, that were so interesting and also so confirming of faith. And uh, R.T. Clark was a world-class physiologist. He was early in altitude physiology, in exercise physiology. Electricity just jumped from him when he walked by. Paul Witt uh, was one of the people that did some of the early research on sulfonamides, the precursors to the antibiotics. And yet there he was at a small school in Abilene uh, working with students, and that was a had a great effect I mean, I think that the old statement of if we can see farther than others is because we stand on the shoulders of giants is very true. And there were a lot of giants there. I have always seen ACU graduates do well in medical school and in residencies. I think that the ACU graduates um, seem to have that combination of work ethic, honesty, integrity, things that you would expect from a Christian, uh, and then also the basic foundations that we have in the science department at ACU, uh, outstanding preparation. And I think you put all that together, the factual preparation, the information preparation, plus the integrity, the work ethic, you have an outstanding product, and I think that ACU is well known for that. About 40% of the people nationwide who apply get into medical school, and here at ACU it's typically double that or higher. Our students know it's going to take high GPA, it's going to take high test scores, entrance scores, very good recommendations, and then experiences beyond that as well. Uh, like the medical missions and shadowing experiences to show the medical schools that uh, the student is more than just somebody who can go to class and take a test. If I was just looking at this reaction down here and I was using bromine and I see those double bonds, what would you guess bromine might do? Body and soul has enabled us to take the experiential learning far beyond what we were doing before. So now we have a formalized program where we can help these kids get experience shadowing doctors and dentists, actually going into hospitals, watching surgeries, meeting with physicians and hearing them tell their story. We give them practice interviews before they go to the health profession schools. We be sure they have all of these experiences. We encourage them to go on medical mission campaigns. Perry has been an amazing mentor to me and to students through many, many years. He is an outstanding teacher. One of the more important things I've learned from him is to be persistent, to be patient, to be present and available to the students. That is probably one of his greatest strengths. His door is always open, and he is always willing to talk to a student who has a question. I believe one of the really great things about Body and Soul is to have Terry Aldridge as a person who is not a professor, that these students can go sit in her office and say, this is what I'm struggling with. This is where I'm doing well. I need somebody to care about me, to pray about me. Who's not gonna give me a grade at the end of the day? I think her role is really crucial and vital in kind of providing that transition home away from home. So who did you interview with? Um, I interviewed with Tech. Tech was my first one. Okay. So I heard back from Tech and... Terry does a wonderful job for body and soul students because of how much she cares about the students. I have never seen someone work harder and be more passionate about the students uh, than what she does for us. She's always so warm and engaging and just always makes that experience a little bit better. The students make my day great. 
I love it when they come in and they put sticky notes on pictures and say, I just heard I got into medical school. When I have messages on my phone and just say, Terry, somebody's sick in my family, will you pray for them right now? Uh, when they bring me a Snickers because they know I love chocolate, it just, it makes my day worth getting up and coming to work. Hi, I'm Ann. I'm Brittany. I have almost 40 doctors and dentists that allow our students to come in and shadow for a month at a time. They graciously open their door up and they let our students come see what their life is like. In interviews for medical school, they are always asking, okay, what have you done? Uh, hands on, how do you know you want to be a physician? And Body and Soul has helped me because it put me in the operating room, it put me in the clinic, um, put me with physicians who could help me better strengthen my belief that this is what I want to do. Really practical kind of um, questions can be answered in, in a shadowing process. I know that in, in the case uh, of the student that I worked with, we talked very frankly about, uh, well, if you want to do what I do, this is what it means. I wish I had had that experience because um, the transition into medical school, there were some things that I anticipated and there were some things I didn't anticipate. And it was those things that I didn't anticipate that I spent time talking uh, with Ryan about. Every fall, Randy Harris and I have a biomedical ethics course designed by a team of people from science and outside science. And the, the thrust of the course is that we try to move through the major ethical stances that one might take in any area and particularly apply those to healthcare profession items. I went to a med school interview and at the end of my first interview, the doctor that I was interviewing with started firing all of these ethics questions at me, just rapid fire one after the other. And I was giving him answer after answer after answer. And he said, wow, you can really think on your feet. And I was thinking to myself, nope, I had ethics. And I was forced to kind of think out my position on things before um, I was put in those situations. We do get some really good students who come to us with high aspirations and good skills. And then we try to mold that and take them the next step. ACU kids also come with a high level of integrity. They're hardworking. They care about others from their youth groups back home. They spend a lot of time working, serving other people. And since the health professions are a serving profession, they kind of come with a lot of the basic tools. So we just try really hard to tell them what the medical schools, the dental schools are looking for, and then their hard work and their effort take over. We just try to be sure they know what's expected and we help them achieve that. Okay.